it's Sam again. So today I wanted to do my top five Wednesdays, and top five Wednesday was created by Lainey over on Ginger Reads Lainey, but now it's being hosted by Sam from Thoughts on Tomes. And today's topic for discussion is most unlikable characters, but they cannot be villains or people that are mean, like really said to be mean. They have to be people that are unintentional, unintentionally unlikable. So let's get into this. The first one that I'm going to mention is Cinder from the Lunar Chronicles series. Honestly, in the first book, I really didn't connect that much with Cinder, but it wasn't that I didn't like her. I just really didn't connect with her. I know there were a lot of things that were transpiring that were for you to connect with this person and to feel sentiment for her and basically to be one with everything that was happening for her. This book really didn't provoke my thoughts at all because like once one thing was mentioned, I was like, all right, I already know what's going to happen. And that wasn't even halfway through the book that was like one third into the book and i was like okay this is disappointing the next one that i'm gonna mention is one that i can say can i say that i didn't like him that okay i can say that i really didn't like him that much but i hope in the second book he does redeem himself as a character and the one i'm talking about is from truth witch and it's prince merrick nihar nah, nihar i don't know prince merrick but there were some things about him that when he started like bickering and fighting for with sophia it was just a little bit stupid like i'm like oh here's another couple that has to fall in love with one another because they hate one another or they're bickering and fighting like really fighting like intensely fighting those are the things that really did like tick me off he is a loyal prince and he'll do anything for his people and he basically doesn't want his sister to seize the throne but i do appreciate everything about him but just when he's near Sophia, it's like I want to smack him. It's like I want to be a book jumper, jump in this book and just smack the living crap out of him. The next character that I'm going to mention is one that I really did not like and this one is one that I can say yes really does belong in this list because as of right now in the third book of this series, I really didn't enjoy her character and I hope that in the next book she does redeem herself as a character but the one I'm talking about is from Air of Fire and that is Manan Blackbeak. Honestly, I did not like her. She has no heart, basically no soul. So she really feels no compassion for anybody. Basically, when um, Abraxas is like introduced into her life, you see something like different in her life. Something that I am appreciating. I hope that she's like the Grinch and her heart just starts growing. I hope that's something that does happen. But as of right now, I really didn't care for her points of views, especially in this book, which is where she's introduced, duh. But I really didn't like her points of views. And I would skip ahead, but then I would go back because I was really intrigued as to what was going to happen and obviously I wanted to read about Abraxas, the flower loving wyvern. The next person that I'm going to mention is from the fifth wave and that is Cassie Sullivan. I honestly, first of all, I didn't like this book so this book wasn't like something that I was like, whoa. I only care for three characters in this book. And one is Sam, which is Cassie's brother. The other one is Evan Walker. Adored him so much, but he ended on such a cliffhanger. And another one is Ringer. Those are the three characters that I really did care about. Cassie, I didn't care about her one bit. I didn't connect with her. But her as an individual, I really did not like that much because she was so annoying. Okay, that's the word I'm looking for. She was annoying for me. And even though she did a couple of things that were like, oh, cool, yeah, I can, I can root for her. The next and final book that I'm going to mention is a character from City of Bones. I love these books. These are my pride and joys. But Clary Fairchild, you know, being tenacious and trying to hunt for her mother and never giving up on her mother, that's something that I have to appreciate, don't get me wrong. But as of this book, she didn't grow on me and I really didn't care for her that much. But as the series did transpire, specifically like around the fourth, fifth book, which is what I just said, when it's actually when I actually started liking her a lot more. But in the beginning, she was really annoying to me and I really didn't, didn't like her as a character that much. And I thought that she did mess up a lot honestly and i was like you're not a shadow hunter what the heck are you doing there i mean leave the people that i've been hunting for so many years to do their job you basically just got here don't think that you're gonna be wonder woman in two minutes well those are all my five most unlikable characters that's it for my video i want to thank you for watching and until next time